Hey guys, welcome to the channel and to the first episode of a series of builds that I will do of a Republic F-105 Thunder Chief. North Vietnam, the heart of enemy territory, had evolved into a fortress ringed by the latest Soviet weaponry. SA-2 surface-to-air missiles lined common flying routes and protected air bases, supply lines, and city centers. All too often, the weapons proved to be deadly accurate. The only way to stop the SA-2s was to lure them out and hopefully escape before they claimed another life. It was a mission that took skill, instinct, and guts of steel. The planes and pilots who dared to carry out this cat and mouse tactic were called the wild weasels. So, I have chosen the Trumpeter 172 scale F105G for the wild weasel uh, for this build. And um, I think it's a great looking kit. There are lots of nice details like panel lines and rivets on the fuselage. The cockpit tub is a little bit simpler, not so much detail. And uh, the ejection seats, I think they are the weak spot uh, on this, this kit. They look very simple. The wings, on the other hand, look really great with nice surface details with a lot of rivets. Uh, my only concern is the, the fit around the air intake because this is such a eye-catching part of the aircraft, so I think I have to be very careful with that. The sprue with the loadout uh, contains uh, fuel tanks, uh, anti-radiation missiles and uh, ECM ports. There is also a sprue with uh, engine uh, undercarriage and uh, pylons and th stuff like that. The kit has an 8-page black and white uh, assembly instruction and also a, a colorized uh, paint callout. The kit also contains decals for three different aircraft and also decent looking um, clear parts. I decided to pimp the kit a little bit with um, a turned metal uh, pitot tube, some photo etch for the cockpit and uh, some air scopes for, uh, for the rear of the fuselage. Um, and I also uh, invested in a masking set for the, for the canopy and the windscreen.
Welcome back. Let me first start by showing you the progress so far. Uh, okay, I have assembled the cockpit and the engine or the exhaust of the engine. I have also uh, cleaned up all the small parts for the undercarriage. Uh, I will paint them separately and uh, um, assemble them and get the, as part of the final assembly. I have also assembled the nose section here. Uh, I have decided not to have the refueling probe extended. I think it looks silly on the ground, so <laughs> so I will have that panel. I have um, put that panel on, and also I have decided to hide the gun. So uh, this panel is also um, glued in on the fuselage. And basically, I have done everything here. Uh, I have not mated the fuselage halves yet because I wanted to show them for you before I do that. But I have populated the one side of the fuselage with all the parts and all the external parts here are assembled as well. Okay, so let's have a look at the model. Okay, let's look at the fuselage then. Uh, if we start with this side, uh, you can see that I have uh, painted and um, weathered the um, side panels. Uh, I've also added some PE parts. Um, and I decided to paint the, um, the rear compartment or the compartment around the engine uh, black because I don't want any... I want to make sure that there are no uh, visible uh, grey plastic shining. <laughs> uh, and, um, and here you can see, uh, the I, uh, this is a trick that I am using uh, when I'm doing the navigation lights. I put a small piece of um, kitchen foil behind the clear part and I glue it in with the white glue. And you can see the, you can see it shining, uh, hopefully, a little bit. So it's, um, um, yeah. And if we look at the the other half of the fuselage, there I have, as I said, populated it with uh, with uh, nose landing gear bay, um, the cockpit, and I think it looks quite nice with all the PE details and uh, detail painting and um, I also have fitted the exhaust and you can see that there is some I done some weathering of the inside of the exhaust with the order or the of the burner with some uh, matte matte paints Okay, let's see how it fits together. As far as I can see, I think the, the fit seems good. There are no issues as far as I can see, or big issues. Um, I think I can get most of it to go together really well just using some tammy extra thin and pressure uh, when i glue everything together i saw that i had um uh, there is a small collision between the um, clear parts for for the nav lights on, on the re here and rear so i have to i think i can put that together with some extra pressure and make it make it work and I also need to I think this air scope over here needs some attention as well uh, so I have to to use some filler and to clean that up to make that look good and I have a small seam over here and I hope I can uh, fix that by just apply, applying pressure when I glue it together because I don't, there are a lot of panel lines and rivets here, and I don't want to use any 
and a filter. Uh, so, so I have to, I want to avoid to clean up and everything over there. I saw, saw that I made a small mistake here. <laughs> uh, if you look at this um, this panel here for the that is covering the refueling probe, uh, I had to to make some kind of uh, structure behind it just to to make this fit. And I dry fitted everything very carefully, but when I applied some the Tammy Extra Thin and pressed applied pressure, I saw that this part were sunk in a little bit, a couple of tenths of, of a millimeter. Uh, I should have fixed that, pulled it, pulled it back out and uh, added some more material and fixed it right away, but I didn't do that. So I uh, know I, I guess that I have to um, add some some uh, putty or, or filler and sand it down and yeah. So uh, those small details on the on the panel will probably get lost. So that's uh, yeah, it's not so good, but uh, that is things that is happening sometimes. Uh, okay, I also um, dry fitted the, one, of, one of the wings just to check how the fit is and. It looks to me that I can get this together quite good, at least on, on the top side, which, which is maybe the most important. Um, I have to, I, I think I might have done another mistake. <laughs> you see this hatch here, the landing gear bay hatch. Um, I shouldn't have gloomed that in right now. I should have painted that separately and added that later on. Now I have to to paint the compartment, the landing gear compartment and the inside of the of the hatch separately and I have to mask that and then I have to um, paint the camo afterwards. But, uh, but yeah, that's that is doable. So so I think it's I think I can make it uh, work. Okay, so uh, I have also bought some aftermarket for the. Um, let's open this up. Some aftermarket for uh, the rear of the fuselage. There are um, air scopes that are used for, I think it's ventilation or cooling of the engine. They will need to be fitted back here. And. Um, I think the detail looks quite nice, uh, but I will I will not add them now. I will put them in just before I I put primer on. I think just to to protect them uh, because I I need to do some some. Filling and polishing and a uh, lot of work like that on, on the fuselage before I can put primer on. And uh, I don't want to knock off any parts. So, so, so yeah, I will do that. Just before, to, before I put primer on and start painting. I have also um, painted the landing gear struts. And... Uh, so I think they they are basically ready for weathering, and I will weather everything together. I will not weather the, the parts uh, separately because I want to make sure that I have the same uniform. Um, even if I assemble everything uh, at as, at uh, at the end <laughs> at the final assembly. I want to do every weathering uh, basically just before I start putting everything together, just to make sure that everything looks the same. And uh, I use the same washes for for all the parts. Okay, so I think that concludes the first episode. Um, in the next episode, I will probably finish the 
um, the assembly or the build uh, of the fuselage and the wings and everything and prepare everything for uh, for primer so um, that's uh, that's probably the next next segment in this series of vlogs so um, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one goodbye